our research just focused on the UK because we have or we had a gap in knowledge in the UK. First of all, I do want to make sure that the industry can embed flexible and agile working practices. And I know it's obviously harder to do with site based roles and operational roles, but some companies have shown that this can work. The other thing I'm really keen to press forward um, is the recommendation about the campaign and the toolkit to challenge the perceived macho culture and behaviours in the transport workplace. Most of the women in our survey said that there is a particular stereotype of the people that work in transport and a, a lot of people surveyed did, did perceive the industry as having an image problem. We need to encourage more women in, we need to profile the ones we have because that's the only way that we're going to you know, tackle stereotypes. I find that what's really helpful is inclusive recruitment and retainment practices. The recruitment panels should just be com completely diverse and that, that just helps women and other underrepresented groups to feel more at ease in the interview situation. The key next steps are, so actually we need to renew cross-party support for tackling women's underrepresentation in the transport industry. My team and I are in the process of talking to parliamentarians so that we can boost the membership of that group because it's you know it's good to have as much political support as possible we're also looking at plans for how we can join up the various sector edi charters um so there's a women in rail one a women in maritime and a women in aviation and aerospace we've also been talking to the department for transport about what we can do to showcase transport careers for women. Diverse teams are so much more likely to outperform their competitors and you'll understand your customers better and, and be able to deliver for them and get it right first time. If you're not engaging the right, you know, diverse communities as part of the planning process, or if you don't have diverse people on your team, then you're just going to deliver a very narrow, narrow results that doesn't cater for everyone. If anyone wants to work with us at Women in Transport and help us to deliver some of these recommendations, then please do come and talk to me.